Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are in Unit 2, Lesson 10 in our Math Journals, Properties of Triangles. We're on page 57, so let's get right to it. Now there are two ways that you can uh, define triangles. There's the way that you define them by sides or by angles. So for example, looking at a chart that I conveniently pulled off of the internet, uh, if you define a triangle by its sides, uh, an equilateral triangle has three equal sides, an isosceles triangle has two equal sides, and then a scalene triangle has no equal sides. But you can also define or describe a triangle by the kinds of angles it has. An acute triangle has three sides, or three angles, that are less than 90 degrees. An obtuse triangle has one angle that is more than or greater than 90 degrees. And then a right triangle has one right angle, or an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. Okay, so let's get that one out of the way for a moment. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, these four pictures. Okay, and it says, uh, name an angle property of each triangle, circle any right angles, and then name the type of triangle. So if I look at number one, I can see right away there is a right angle. So this must be a right triangle with the right angle, okay? And what's the property? Well, it has a right angle. Pretty straightforward. Okay? But if I look at, say, number two, number two uh, does not have a right angle, first of all, so that eliminates that choice. Uh, if I look at some of the angles that it does have, this angle is very acute as is this one, okay? But when I look at this one right here, uh, up at the top, this is obtuse. Now, how do I know that to be true? Well, uh, when I try to make a square angle from one of the line segments, like so, if I make it, try to make a square, and again, I'm drawing this freehand, so you have to... Uh, Give me a little latitude here. Here's my square. You'll notice that the angle is wider than the 90 degrees that makes up the part of the square corner. Okay, so that means that this is an obtuse triangle. Okay, so what is the property? Well, the property is I'm looking at the angles, and there is an obtuse angle. So if it has an obtuse angle, it is an obtuse triangle. See, again, the word angle helps us with that. Okay, so it'd be like defining or describing cakes, okay? So if the cake batter is chocolate, that would be a defining characteristic. So what kind of cake is it? It's a chocolate cake, okay? If the uh, cake batter is red velvet, then it would be a red velvet cake. Okay, so the type of cake is determined by the batter. The type of triangle is sometimes determined by its angles. And that is what we're looking at right here. So I want you to take a look at three and four on your own and, and ask yourself what qualities or what properties uh, do these triangles have and how then would I define it based on the three criteria up at the top. And then finally, you are asked to draw your own triangle. So uh, you would have to uh, take a look at your drawing and then define it. So you can either draw a triangle and then look at it uh, and think, well, what kind of triangle did I draw? Or you can take a triangle, uh, uh, have one in mind, and then try to draw that. Either way, you get to practice drawing triangles. If you have questions or concerns about this topic or just want to learn a little bit more about the subject, uh, I would encourage you to check out your SRB. Now here's a weird thing about this PDF that I pulled off the Everyday Math website. For some reason, it did not put in what pages you could be looking up triangles on in your SRB. It just says triple X. I went ahead and I looked it up for you and looked at the math journal, a physical paper copy, and the pages that you need to be looking at are 229, 
and 233. Okay, so for whatever reason, there's a misprint there. Uh, but hey, Mr. Wasserman's here to help you guys out. Again, if you have questions or concerns, please reach out to your math teachers or consult your SRBs or talk to an adult or an older student, maybe a big brother or big sister who has uh, experienced uh, triangle identification before. They would all be happy to help you. So until next time, have a good day.